Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here, and this is another weekly update. And, uh, yeah, this week I gotta start it off with a bit of bad news regarding that copyright strike on my second channel. Yeah, I made a bit of an oversight. I, uh, I got the message after sending in my counter notification, uh, and I just assumed it was the same message as ever because it looked like the same message. It was formatted the same way, and it was even grouped with the message from the other strike uh, in Gmail. So I just thought it was the same message exactly without even really reading it. But apparently it wasn't, because, uh, yeah, this counter-notification uh, was rejected. I, uh, I don't know why, since I used the same, uh, I said the same thing in it that I always say, and it's always worked before, but this time it just didn't. And they sent me a message which read that, Based on the information you provided, it appears that you do not have necessary rights to post the content on YouTube. Therefore, we regretfully cannot honor your request. It has not been forwarded to the original claimant, and we will not be able to restore your video. And, uh, yeah, I, I just don't even understand why this happened this time. Because, really, Toei has no claim here. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Abridged, which, uh, it, it's just a very obviously transformative fair use uh, series, and me reacting to it just adds another layer of transformation, so it doesn't even resemble the original content that Toei owns very much anymore. I mean, it uses footage from it, but it it's clearly something else, and uh, I, I, I just can't see why YouTube would side with them and not even forward my uh, my my counter notification to them. That's just stupid. I mean, there's that uh, there's that hashtag f flying around these days. Uh, where's the fair use? And uh, yeah, I can definitely see why after this. <laughs> Something is definitely wrong in the system if YouTube can do this. If they can. Just decide on a whim not to even send your counter notification out to the people who wrongly flag your content. That is just not right, and uh, I'm really disappointed that uh, this would happen. <laughs> Though not too surprised after the whole guideline strike thing. I mean, YouTube, something clearly is broken. That's not really news to me. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, as a result, Rarity Dash 2 is going to be out of commission for a while. I just, it, it, it because YouTube isn't willing to help me, I uh, just have to wait for the strike on it to expire naturally, which is going to take six months, which, uh, yeah, is pretty much going to kill that channel. Uh... But I'm not going to uh, start as a third channel because that would just be stupid. I don't really want to splinter my content off in so many places and just have it all over the place, fractured in different locations. That just wouldn't be good. And uh, yeah, at this point it's March and my strike on my main channel is going to be gone in April, so yeah, I'm just more willing to just have... Uh, another month where I only upload single videos and just have that be the way that it's gonna have to be. Unfortunately that means I won't be able to get to the really highly requested really wanted videos like the like the latest Daughter of Discord and uh, the latest Bronies React until April but uh, yeah there really isn't another thing that I'm willing to do here. Uh, and good news uh, just got news today that uh, the sixth season of MLP is starting at the end of this month, which is really cool. Uh, first few reactions from me will, are going to have to be uh, uploaded on uh, Google Drive or Daily Motion and uh, uh, redirects on YouTube. But uh, once the strike is gone in April, I'll upload those onto uh, onto the main channel as well. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, well, that'll be good, but uh, just in general, bad news there. Uh, in other news, uh, well, not much. Oh, there were those two days that I missed this week. I guess I should explain that. Sunday, it was just because uh, 
I had a busy day that day and I didn't really have any free time until late at night. And at that point I just wasn't in the mood to record anything. It was the day after I had done three videos all in one day and I just felt like, eh, I might as well just take a day off here. Uh, Thursday though, that wasn't really my choice. I actually did record a video, I just wasn't able to get the reaction uh, condensed down into under 15 minutes. Uh, because the content was like 13 and a half minutes and I figured I'd just be able to squeeze it in and get just under 15 somehow. But I uh, just underestimated how much I'd say during my intro and at the end of the video. It wasn't like I said a ton, but it just was enough for the video and uh, there really wasn't much that I could cut from it and uh, be satisfied with it. So I just had a frustrating experience with that and eventually decided to just skip it. In the future someday you'll probably get that video as a bonus uh, once the strike is gone and uh, whenever I feel like just putting it out there. And uh, yeah, that'll have to be how it is. Uh, though hopefully this coming week I'll be able to actually for once again <laughs> get out seven videos, get out a video every day. I really want to get back to that. Don't really do not like skipping days like this. It's two weeks in a row now where I've uh, missed days, and I really don't like doing that. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about all there is to say this week. See you in the next one.